Explosive Ordnance Disposal Mobile Unit 5 partnered with the Republic of Singapore Navy for Miata exercise. Part of the exercise included a render safe procedure and disruption charge training at Navy Munitions Site in Santa Rita and improvised explosive device response on Naval Base Guam. This biannual exercise enhances interoperability between the nations and allows them to share their tactics, techniques and procedures to prepare for real life scenarios. It's definitely an awesome experience for me and most of the other younger guys. We've never really had much of a foreign relations or uh, any sort of training like that. So it's cool to definitely get work hand in hand with other EOD forces and get out and see what they do and how they do their different uh, operations. EOD Mobile Unit 5's facilities and other resources coupled with Guam's forward location offers advantages for joint training. Guam being uh, pretty much a hub in, in the Asian AOR, it makes it logistically easier. Um, you could do uh, similar exercises in the United States, um, as I said, logistically harder. And, and, and just the availability of the training areas here on Guam makes it uh, that much easier. The two EOD teams also train with the help of U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Azatig to secure two simulated potential threats on board the patrol vessel. It's a great opportunity. We're all really, at the end of the day, working towards the same mission and uh, love having the chance to work with them, uh, share our experience and uh, be able to share their experience as well, uh, broaden our depth and then also have some good camaraderie between uh, the services, both uh, Navy and Coast Guard and then internationally with Singapore. For Joint Military News Network, I'm Jesse Leon Guerrero.